Hello everybody, it's TwoScrafts here, welcome to another Minecraft Java Edition video. In today's video, we are going to be doing exactly what the thumbnail said, and building the 4x4 vault door in Minecraft Java Edition. Now, we all know that Mumbo Jumbo absolutely loves 4x4 vault doors, or just generally vault doors, but this is not Mumbo Jumbo's design, okay? If you think it's Mumbo Jumbo's design, why don't you go and actually look at his design? We're going to segue on from that, and we're going to actually get into just showing the speed of the door. Now, unfortunately, I know you still can't hear game sounds in my videos, and there's just not a lot I can do about that, because my built-in uh, application that I use for screen recording doesn't record computer noises which is so annoying, you, you probably don't care about my personal life, you're probably just here for the 4x4 vault door. Let's move on to the tutorial. First of all, get your door frame. Now, the frame itself is going to be flush with the wall, you know, but the door is going to be set back a block. So it'll look something like this when you actually get into a build. Obviously, the blocks are probably going to be different, but that's the general idea. Alright, so the start for any piston door is the layout. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to place a sticky piston we're going to place a line of four sticky pistons, then we're going to put two blocks here and put more sticky pistons. Very symmetrical build, by the way. And then you're going to put an observer here, and a note block here, and a block here, and note blocks on either side of it with a piece of dust on top of it. You can put it in dot form, you can also not put it in dot form, it really doesn't fucking matter. And then you can put two observers like this, and then do the same thing on the other side. Put an observer here, note block, regular block, note blocks on either side of it, dust on top, again, doesn't matter what you do with that dust, as long as you don't break it, obviously. Then put observers facing into the note blocks, with the backs going into the pistons. Then, and only then, here's where the video comes to your decision. It is entirely up to you whether or not you want to put string on the note blocks. I like to make that decision. We're going to put four of our normal door blocks. Then we're done with the note blocks, so we can put them away. And we're going to put some decoration blocks like this. More door blocks like that. A row of decoration blocks. And a row of door blocks. And then you're going to put two sticky pistons facing this direction. Two more on top of them. Then three up in a straight line like this, facing toward the middle, obviously. Same thing. And then cover those with door blocks, and put a decoration block here. Then you're going to come up here, and you're going to put two sticky pistons facing downward like that. Temporary block, another sticky piston, remove the temporary block, and put a sticky piston like that. Then you're going to make an I formation, the letter, not the, not the organ, in the ceiling like that, and you put two more door blocks in front of your sticky pistons, and then Basically, just copy this side over here. So you put three decoration blocks, temp, uh, a block, then two sticky pistons, two more, then your two lines of three on either side, and then you just fill in, you just put blocks in front of them, okay? And then you put a decoration block here. Now, the decoration blocks on top are going to be holding up redstone dust, so they can't be anything dumb like stairs or slabs. Just, cause, I mean, I assume you would know that because common sense, but not everybody has it. So, okay, okay then you're going to come over here. If you're in survival mode, this will be a little bit more difficult, but I expect most of you will be doing this in creative first. Please do. Anyways, you're going to put an observer here and redirect it like that so the back of it is downward and the face goes upward. Then you slap a repeater on it and set it to two ticks. Then put a piece of dust here, and put a line through like that, one here, and then copy the, copy the side over here. Observer upward, and repeater on two ticks. Then a formation of three blocks like this, and redstone dust, two, piece, two transparent blocks. Those can be slabs, but they have to be upper slabs, obviously. I just prefer glass because it's easier to place. Then two blocks like this, and two dust like that. Then, you're going to take out your four target blocks and put them like this. I might edit in a resource list, but uh, I don't feel like it. Then you're going to put blocks like this on the, sa on the other side. Dust, transparents, blocks, and then 
dust like that. Then you're going to come back down here, and you see these back pistons? You're going to put an observer on it, face into the bottom of it, and then a block on the back of the observer. And of course, same thing on the other side. And if any of your door blocks are jutting out like this, just mine them up and put them back in there, because Java... Anyways, that's, that's how this is built. Then after that, you can put your lever on any of the four target blocks, or you can figure out your own way to wire some redstone signal up to the top. I'm not going to help you with that part, you're just here for the door. So, slap a lever on a target block and call it good. If you enjoyed the video, or if you enjoyed the design in the video, be sure to leave a like on the video so that I know you enjoyed it. Now if you didn't enjoy the video, be sure to tell me why in the comments so I know how to improve my content in the future, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And speaking of the channel, if you want to get more updates about the channel, or just see what kind of videos are going to be coming in the future, or even vote on what type of videos I'll be making, then be sure to join the Discord, which will be linked down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.